What's up, it's your boy CJ Goodfella. Third video for the day. Three straight days. Active, can you say it? We active. We back. Um, I'm going. I'm probably get into the Joe Smith Jr. fight prediction. Um, hopefully tomorrow or Friday. Um, definitely before the weekend. Um, but this is the fight boxing needs right here. Adrian Broner versus Terrence Crawford. Um, this is a fight American needs. I mean. Um, say what you want to say about Adrian Broner. He has never ducked in head away from any type of competition. Um, he has a lot of heart, a good chin. Um, he might be obnoxious and, you know, just very, very ignorant. But the dude is very, very smart. I think when he was 16, a little backstory that um, he was enrolled to Northern Michigan uh, University, I believe it was, um, in high school. He's a very smart guy as well as talented. His ignorance and his, his uh, thirst for fame and notoriety is really overtaking him. He was too immature, so they sent him back home, so maturity has always been an issue. Terrence Crawford, on the other hand, you know, he's been in his little bit of trouble um, with the car shop, but he's very mature, handles himself very, very differently, and very carries himself very, very nicely as a person. And he, he has a lot of edge to him, very dog. Both of these guys are from the inner city. And won't be punked out. And the trash talk will be epic between, you know, Broner and B Mac, Crawford, one of Crawford's coaches, and Terrence Crawford. Um, Broner does have the talent to best Terrence Crawford, but Crawford is just on a totally different level. I just think this is the boxing fight boxing needs. I think, you know, Showtime is on to a believable start in 2016 with Frampton, I mean, 17 with Cruz and Frampton and Broner and Grottos. Um, I think his name is Grottos. Um, the Dude Jack, James the Gale. It's a lot of great fights on the horizon. I mean, they're kicking it off right. HBO with Gennady Golovkin hopefully coming back March 18th. Keith Thurman is uh, Danny Garcia March 4th, I believe. And this fight sometime 2017 could put it over the top, especially if Gennady Golovkin and Canelo get it on, or Chavez Jr. and Canelo get it on, maybe. Um, just for notoriety, even though it's not a good technical fight, you know, or if Chavez Jr. fights Golovkin. For our fresh return, it's a lot of possibilities. 2017 that could make up for the the, the eye popping, the flash that 2016 uh, did drop the ball. You could get Joshua versus Wilder sometime in there. You're getting Clisco versus Joshua. So 2017 is shaping up to be a great, great year already after kind of a down year in this year of boxing. Um, but this is definitely a fight I would like to see. I think Broner has the talent. I think he just needs to get with a different coach. I wouldn't mind seeing him train with the Mayweather's to try to develop some feet or try to cover that deficiency like Canelo has and do other things that his skill set is doing. But for Crawford, I think this is a big fight to boost his notoriety and his fame going into 147 pounds. Or if he wants to stay at 140 and just be a king and collect bread, 